Guerrero, and finally from the Zeno family uh, to bring words of encouragement to this family. Uh, I knew Charles way, way back. As a matter of fact, I was initiated into Omega Psi Phi three years before him, and I was trying to decide whether or not I was in Gamma Rho when he was initiated. I can't remember except to know uh, that he is a fine, fine brother. We're going to miss, miss him. Let me be brief and encourage this family today uh, to know that the Lord knows all about you. He has promised to never leave you nor to forsake you. In a time when the people of Israel was in trouble, was in bondage, he raised a Reverend Isaiah in the 40th chapter to give words of encouragement to them to wait on the Lord. And I say to Leish and to Mark and to all of the family, the words of our God who says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. He said, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. Family, I say to you, keep your hands in God's unchanging hands and know that everything will be all right. Wait upon the Lord, yes, and God. he shall direct our path. God bless you. Amen. Time is spent trusting the Lord. God will take care of you. Amen. You do have to uh, forego the uh, condolences from uh, these ministers that we are going to have uh, Bishop Wilson Johnson to come and all the condolences on behalf of all these ministers and we will have to go down from this place. God bless you. Thank, thank you kindly. To God be the glory for all the things he's done. He thanks you, uh, Pastor Johnson, and to Dr. Leonard who touched our hearts here today. And uh, we are better because of it. Uh, it's unfortunate that the time becomes a spent, but all life has borders. And there's a time that we have to be here, and there's a time that we have to depart. And that's the way life is now. Uh, but uh, all the would you please stand with me? On behalf of the ministers who are standing here, uh, we are offering you the God that you already have. And that God is able to do for you whatever you need. And everybody in this church, this church today should know Jesus Christ. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, you need to get to know him. Because we who know him know that God is a great God. And he's able to be with us. Family, I need to tell you uh, three things you need to do tonight when we have gone to our homes and you left by yourselves. Uh, you need to do two things. Number one, uh, don't take two turn, two patches or two pills, but take two turns. Number one, turn it over to Jesus. Number one, number two, turn yourself over and go to sleep. God can handle it. God can fix it. And God can work it out for you. We love you on behalf of the pastor. May God bless you and God keep you. We shall see our brother again. Amen. We will see him in the praise of glory. He's going to leave this blue, this purple of Omega and take the gold. Yes. He's going to leave the blue of Southern and take the gold. Yes. He will leave the black of the Saints yes. and leave and take the gold. Yes. Because when you get to heaven, he'll be in the golden yes. street with golden slippers, yes. with a golden rope, and walking the streets of the